Hello family, happy new year. Wow, we made it to 2020. flew by so fast and we are already here 2020 like the year of perfect balance 2020 vision 2020 is the year of precision as well um vision 2020 was also meant to be like you know the year of you know the 2020 goals they were meant to be like the sustainable goals and the year of progression and development so i'm also claiming that even though we've postponed it to 2050 now or whichever year it is that people are claiming um yeah i'm at home I mean, my dad's office, like my dad's home office right now, because it is study, to be honest, does call it office. So my dad's study, and um, this was actually where I was sat when I decided that I do not want to study law. Well, let me not say that. When I decided that I wanted to come back on YouTube, because I knew I, it was while I was preparing for my law school exam, so I knew that, okay, I would finish it, I would pass i would do everything i could like i was here this was where i used to read basically this when, was where i was sat when i just decided you know what this is not gonna fulfill me in life like look at all these law books behind my dad's a lawyer i've seen what the life of a lawyer is like and i'm like that's not the life i want to live and this was where i decided i'm gonna go back on youtube i'm gonna follow my dreams so yeah i figured i might as well come back here and make this video because we're starting this year and this year 2020 is the year that i am going to become a full-time youtuber um yeah i've started making the changes i need to to get to that point and i'm just like okay let's come and record this and make that statement this year getting distracted i can hear some noise the walls in this house are too thin recording makes you actually notice I can hear my sister-in-law out there and um, we're also having a new year party i'll obviously vlog it but this video is gonna go up today and then you guys will see all my christmas activities this month i also have south african vlogs coming to you because i travel to cape town with my um work team so yeah i have cape town vlogs coming i have a bunch of vlogs that i'm behind on anyways that are gonna come up um part of my goals for this year is as i said in my christmas video professionalism more strategic um output of the content i create if i would call it that like i want to be a bit more organized i'm a bit more professional because as i said this is going to be my year where i transition into full time i want to step up my editing i want to step up my video and i want to step up all of that so i'm putting this on record guys for you guys um what else am i trying to do this year this year is also the year to get my coins up um i i journal by the way so aside from having a video log vlog i do journal i write down stuff so on my 26th birthday i wrote an entry about how you know 26 has to be the year for me to come into my own and to actually be able to stand on my own like as an independent woman like tired of relying on my parents you know i want to be self-sufficient this year because um all my life i had always told myself that okay at 25 i would be married so by the time i reached 26 i obviously did not fulfill my life vision if i if i would call it that and it made me look inward and look back and think of okay so what's up you thought that at 25 you would be married and about to have a baby but here you find yourself at 26 and you know i was now i had to ask my dad for rent because my rent was due la um, last month i had to ask my dad for rent and i'm like oh god are you kidding me at 26 you're still asking your father for rent so yeah i've decided that this year is also the year to get my coins up so you know on that note i've started be fly i'm so grateful that be fly is actually doing well like thank you god thank you you guys that order that are believing in me believing in nigeria believing in ankara believing in africa yeah so i'm really hoping be fly is very profitable this year and I've, i wrote down in my journal that i want to make 10 million from be fly this year i don't know if it's possible but let's just see Sha. i'm gonna try i'm gonna put in that work i need to because as i said i want to be self-sufficient i also want to be a full-time youtuber so i'm hoping that you know by the time i'm doing youtube full-time um be fly would be like my main source of like liquid cash if i would call it that and um yeah on that note the giveaway winners will be announced today it's going to be in the description box of this video so please check i don't want that to make up this video because this video is about 
the new year my plans for the new year and me looking back on you know 2019 essentially basically every year i'm going to be doing this thing where i make a video about my plans for the year and you know my me looking back on the year before so i made one in 2019 so um i made some notes from that video and i'm just going to be checking and analyzing whether i you know stuck to my word okay so i said 2019 was going to be a fruitful year for butterfly and i do believe that it was a fruitful year for butterfly in the sense of be fly because be fly is an acronym of butterfly if you haven't yet caught on to that so in the sense of like butterfly i was able to you know branch out into other aspects of butterfly aside from the vlog ignore the plane just ignore all other sounds listen to me please yeah so i do believe 2019 was a fruitful year for butterfly in the sense that you know i do feel like people started calling me butterfly first of all which is like okay meaning that you know the brand is obviously sticking to people's tongues people are realizing that okay there's something like butterfly there's a movement like butterfly transform yourself movement and you know we're progressing the brand is becoming like a household name in my mind I, you know i feel like i did make progress it was a fruitful year for butterfly in that sense but i do know that i slacked on my vlogs i had a lot of you know we ex we already went through the whole mental health issues but i you know i did have some low moments in the year i did start slacking i don't even have a schedule anymore i literally i'm just posting on special occasions now but i that's part of my goals for 2020 i do want to get back to my schedule um something else i said i said i'll do less of instagram and i didn't stick to my word because i continued um you know posting a lot on instagram and then i had that controversial rape conversation in february and i was immediately i had that conversation i was like look and you told yourself that you're not going to talk on instagram anymore because i feel like when it's video when you can actually see me when you can hear me it may be easier to actually understand what i'm saying but when i'm just typing maybe you will misinterpret what i'm saying and obviously lessons were learned from that conversation but that conversation ended up biting me in the butt so i this year i definitely intend to make most of my crucial conversations video and on youtube you know i don't want to be talking as much on instagram anymore instagram is just going to lead you to youtube basically um i said i wanted to be more natural la last year and i do believe i was i wore less makeup so you know i was able to improve my skin that was also something i said i was going to work on my skin and that my new year's resolution was not to sleep with makeup so obviously i did not keep my new year's resolution because there were some days i did sleep with makeup but i did definitely work on my skin i've seen a lot of progress with my skin i literally stripped back on all those extra products i used to use and went natural so you will see my natural skincare routine basically when i do decide to share that it's gonna be soon anyways i just want to get out all my old videos before i start doing like content like that i also want to do like my natural hair journey because my natural hair has really grown a lot this time i just packed it up in a bun but um what's it called so i was more natural i wore less wigs wore less weaves um did more braids more natural hairstyles more protective hairstyles so yeah i think i stuck to that one i said that there was going to be more love in 2020 and yes in my mind i think when i was saying that i was thinking oh i was going to be booed up sorry in 2019 there was going to be more love in 2019 and i think when i said that i was thinking i was going to be booed up but what i actually realized was that i fell in love with myself last year in the sense of like i really you know to love someone you have to love their good and their bad love is not just good love takes everything and i feel like last year i really got to understand my flaws i really saw a lot about myself a lot of the places that i have room for improvement and i still loved myself regardless and i made a lot less toxic decisions your girl got out of a toxic situation first of all so let us just say hallelujah for that so you know i i do feel like there was more love last year even though what i thought that love was going to be wasn't what it was it was more love towards me than necessarily towards other people um i said i was going to have more discipline last year i guess i did kind of have more discipline but i still slacked her like i still had some rough days but every year we keep pressing for progress by the way that's my theme for the new year press for progress like as i said i've realized i realized a lot in 2019 i started a lot but i also realized a lot and 
I feel like this year I just want to keep moving forward and trying to press for progress. <laughs> Funny enough, part of what I said is that I'm not where I envisioned I would be at 25. This was what I said in my 2019 video and yeah, 2020, we've gotten in 2020 and I still feel I'm not where I should be at 26. Like as I said, I want to really step up my finances, I really want to become self-sufficient. So yeah um i guess you, you know, we're all human we're not we're not perfect so we'll never be where we think we should be i think you you, you shouldn't even ever be content if not how how do you progress like you wouldn't be driven so i guess maybe that's just a standard thing like i've realized that there's more i want and i'm going for it in 2020. okay and i had two quotes that i shared with you guys last year the first of them was that um you get the life that you've envisioned for yourself when you become the kind of person that can receive it and then the second one was a quote about um the fear of failure not allowing the fear of failure stop you from jumping and taking the steps that you need to and i feel like you know that is exactly those quotes really applied to last year because i took moves and i no it's not sorry i took, no, I took moves i made moves that were very scary yeah so i feel like i definitely made a lot of moves like groundbreaking life-changing moves like i quit my job without telling anybody you know do you know the gods it takes to quit your job i hear my siblings but do you know what it takes to quit your job like i i feel like i definitely took chances last year and i took risks that paid off like even starting my clothing line it wasn't something i'm not like a fashionista kind of girl really and truly like i just found that okay i was wearing these dresses i was making for myself and people were liking them so i was like oh let me try and make for other people you know and this is and it as it has paid off it is paying off and i quit my job i found a job that's better suited to me a job that i'm leading and a job that gives me room to be creative and to be you know um independent i, I was really craving independence last year and i feel like i definitely got that so yeah i i think those two quotes it was interesting that i shared that and i feel like you know i actually i'm on track like things I, I i said i said something in my video in my 2019 video i said things aren't going to happen unless i set them in motion and really and truly like that was what 2019 ended up being for me like i i i set things in motion i i started doing the things that i felt were in line with what i wanted for my future and what i wanted for my life and i feel like i'm actually happy i'm actually at peace i'm actually i don't feel like oh I'm not living my truth. Let me let me put it like that. So 2019 was a good year. My last thing was that I wanted to maintain my relationship with Christ and bruv, that is gonna be part of my goals for every year because there's nothing like having a relationship with Christ. I keep saying it, but the other day, cause I had a shopping party in Portaco for B Fly. So um, there was a, a, a woman called Eva and um, she interviewed me and she kept asking, you know, what drives you what makes you able to take risks how come you you're doing everything that you can do how do you not get affected by haters things like and i i swear my answer was god 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 for everything i always told god that like if he gives me the confidence to do the things i need to do that i promise that i would always share my testimony and i feel like you know my life generally is just meant to be a testimony that's part of why i feel like it's my calling to be a full-time youtuber because i was born to share my testimony so i feel like you know every stage of my life everything every trial i pass through i'm always going to come back and share my testimony with you guys and so don't get tired of me talking about christ yeah, because like it's always going to be part of my story i can't share my story without talking about my love for christ and what god has done for me what if having a relationship with god has done for me so on that note um i feel like when i woke up this morning my all i kept thinking about was psalm 23 psalm 23 psalm 23 and i feel like that's the quote i'm taking into this new year i'm gonna read psalm 23 for you guys to end this video so the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 
You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I hope everybody can take, a, even if it's just a verse out of Psalm 23, just memorize a verse that you know is going to be yours me i'm sticking to the last one i will dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever because once you do that babes everything is sure for you <laughs> i'm telling you but yeah so yeah don't forget giveaway winners all the details will be in the description box thank you guys so much for supporting me for being here despite my inconsistency despite you know my wahala and many changes i'm a butterfly i'll keep transforming i'll keep changing there are many sides of me that you will see so let's see what 2020 has to offer hope this is your best year yet hope this is a year of balance for you hope this is a year of progress for you and yeah make sure you stick to your new year's resolutions my new year's resolution oh sorry i forgot to say my new year's my new year's resolution is definitely to be more time conscious and to improve my communication skills i'm tired of being late i'm always late i like since when did that happen i always used to be a punctual person so this year i definitely want to be more time conscious more time efficient if i'll call it that and um secondly or lastly you know i want to improve my communication skills i reply messages late sometimes i don't even reply at all i don't answer phone calls i don't respond to emails it's very horrible it's part of my anxiety and you know when you guys called me out for not responding to comments i'm like oh my god i've actually started showing myself on youtube too because you should see my phone i don't reply messages i don't reply emails i don't respond to phone calls but these are part of the things that i'm trying to improve in 2020 and yeah something else i realized in fact i think i'll make it a proper video about that it's too long for this but i'm not sure if i want to be an influencer anyways story for another day all right happy new year I'm walking, my talk been different My style and my thoughts been different